Welcome to the MRL Schedule System. At the top of the page are a list of useful links, and at the bottom of the page is a link to where you can report any suboptimalities in the Schedule System. In the middle will be Announcements. Even if you're not logged in, if you're on the Illinois campus, you can view any instrument schedule. The instruments are listed alphabetically in one big long list, or you can select a smaller grouping of instruments and select from that group to choose which instrument you want to look at. To log in, use either your MRL user number, which is a four digit or five digit number, or you can use your NetID. Please note that your password here is your MRL password, not your email password if you're doing your NetID, and then click login. This will take you to a page where again there's a list of links at the top. The use acknowledgement is what you copy and paste into your papers to say that you've done your research here. The information about you is contained in this top part which will have things like your different user numbers associated with different projects. For example, if you're doing a summer project for a collaborator. You can switch to these different accounts and you can choose which one to make default when you sign in with your NetID. The safety trainings listed here are only going to uh, apply if you have these approvals or if you ever had, so this will say if your laser safety training is expired. You can change your password or change things like your um, work address or your preferred email address. You can always skip those continue steps by just clicking main menu and that will take you back here. The next part down here will tell you about upcoming instrument sessions. You can reserve time on any instrument that you have been fully trained on, which means you will have self-use permissions on. This will give you a drop-down list of anything you have permissions on. If there are restrictions, like you're only able to use the instrument during the daytime, that will uh, say that in this section here. Then you click Reserve Instrument. To reserve time, you click on the time when you want to start, and you click on the time when you want to end, and then click Go. This will add you to the session. To delete a session, click on your name. See how it's a little blue link? And then click Go, and it will be deleted. If you are adding a session right before somebody else's time, or if you have a session before someone else and you want to cancel that time, it is also polite to email the next person to say you have finished early so maybe they can start early. You do this by clicking on their name and it will bring up a pop-up box that you can just type in an email like uh, finished early deck tag available now and then sign your name and then click send. If you want to know when another researcher has canceled time, you may add yourself to the waitlist by clicking on the blue links at the top of the page, and then you will be added to the waitlist for that day and you will get an email when someone cancels time. You may also click the notify staff button if you observe a problem with the instrument or if the instrument area is a mess or something that you think the staff should be made aware of, you can just find out the staff email by clicking the notify staff button and do this directly from the schedule system. The sign up rules button will tell you about special restrictions on the instrument sign up, for example the longest allowable session, and who the email addresses of the staff who are in charge of the instrument are. So let's return to the schedule system. Now I didn't actually sign up for any time there so I'll just sign up for half an hour here and then click go so that you can see it will now appear here. This will tell you about all the upcoming sessions in the next week counting today. Now in order to get instrument permissions so that you can sign up for time and reserve the instrument you need to request a training session. You can select from the alphabetical list of all the instruments but it might be hard to figure out which instrument exactly you want without reading the whole list. So you can look through the list of instruments here, say the SEM category, and this narrows it down a little bit. Let's choose the 4700 and click Request Training. This will take you to a page with a, a number of questions. The questions vary by instrument. 
and it is very important that you put in lots of details. This is really important for helping us know when to schedule you for training and whether your training can be combined with someone else. So the more detail you put in these pages, the better. We'll pretend that I actually filled this all the way out, then click Submit Request. This will send an email that looks like this to you and also to the staff in charge of the instruments. And then when you return to the menu, you'll see that you have a training request date. When a training session is scheduled for you, you will see this time appear here and you will also receive an email. To log out, you just click log out from the top.